Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on unit testing in Python. If you have not seen my PY test introduction tutorial, then I would say pause right now and go watch that tutorial before continuing on this one. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to skip test from running. Also how to selectively run your test using the name as an expression. And the third thing we are going to look at is custom markers. Okay, I have this simple Python file here which has two functions. One is doing addition and the another one is doing multiplication. And then I have this test file which tries to do unit testing on those two functions. Uh, you can see here I have two test return. One is trying to verify functionality in calc total and the another one is trying to verify the other function. Okay, and when I run these two tests here, they work okay. You can see that it says that both the tests passed. Okay, now due to some reason, let's say I want to skip this particular test from running. How can I do that? In order to do that, you need to import py test module first and then you need to use a special decorator as I'm going to just show you. So you will say at py test dot mark dot skip and in skip you can provide an optional reason. I don't want to run this test at the moment. Okay, now this is not a very good reason, but you would specify some legitimate reason for not running this test. Okay, when I do that, let's see what happens. You can see that it skipped the first test. If you want to see a reason on why it skipped the test, you can specify my minus R X S command. Okay, that's that's an option that you give in the command line. When you do that here, it will say I skipped test methlib.py3 or uh, test number three because I don't want to run this the test at the moment. So that's the reason why it skipped the test. Okay. And here it says this, this one is skipped and this one is passed. Okay. So skipping test in py test is fairly simple. You need to just add this one line. All right. Now, sometimes you want to skip a test if it meets certain condition okay so in that case you will do skip if okay so in skip if the first parameter will be will be your condition so let's say uh, I want to skip this test if it is a specific Python version okay now how do you check Python version so you know that it is the Python version is stored in sys.version info. Okay, so sys.version info will be giving you your current Python version. Okay, so let's say I want to skip this test if the version is greater than 3.5. Okay, now my Python version, as you can see here, is Python 3.5.2. So guess what's going to happen? It's going to meet this condition and it's, it should skip this particular test. Okay, so let's run this. Cool. So see, it skipped that test. And here also you can say, say skip. So the summary is one test pass, one test skip. Let's flip this condition just to make sure it is working as expected. So if the version is less than 3.5, then skip it. So now my version is obviously 3.5.2. So it is not going to skip the test, but run it instead. So let's do it again. So as you can see, now it did not skip any test and passed all of them. Okay, so use skip or skip if, if you want to skip certain test from running. Now, how do you run certain test based on their name? Okay. So let's say I don't want to use this skip marker because in that case I have to put skip marker in all the tests that I want to skip or run, right? So 
I don't want to I don't want to use it hence I'm removing right now and let's say I want to run test based on their name so for example I want to run all the test which has multiply in their test name so here I want to find a substring multiply and whichever test contains multiply in their name I want to run those in order to do that you have to run minus k command so here i can just say py test minus k multiply this means run all the test which has multiply in that test name when i do that it says one test pass one test deselected if you want more summary you can use verbose option minus v and here it is saying that multiply test pass so it ran only the test which had multiply it skipped the other test so it's saying that one test deselected okay now uh, both of these test name have calc in it okay so let's say now i want to run all the test which has calc named calc in it okay so let me just add some dummy test here test dummy this is doing nothing as a true just to kind of show you now i want to run only these two tests how do i run it both have calc in it okay so i am going to supply calc in minus k option so py test minus k calc minus v when i do that you can see that it ran those two tests which had calc in it and it deselected the th third test if you don't do minus k calc then it's gonna run all three tests you see, you see three tests passed versus two tests passed okay so this is another powerful option that py test offers where you can run the test using their name all right now let's say i even don't want to go by their name and i want to tag a certain test using a specific name or category and i want to run the test based on that category one good example would be let's say your software or application is running on windows and mac os and you want to group your test based on the os these two os's that they are running on in order to do that you will use custom markers so the way custom marker works is first you need to import py test okay and just to keep things simple i will okay let me remove this test and just create some dummy test so i'll say okay windows let's say this is the test which which will test the functionality on windows os okay so let's say for windows os i have two test cases and similarly i have two test cases for mac os okay uh, and when i run it without any options it will run all the tests now I am doing let's say my testing on Windows machine and I can only run Windows test. I cannot run Mac test. So I want to skip them. So how do I skip them? So one option is you use name, but let's say I don't want to use name option because you might sometimes you might have like thousand or more tests and you don't want to go and name your test as Mac. Okay. I mean, that's just a restriction that no programmer or a QA person likes. So you will use custom markers in that case so here you will say py test dot mark dot windows so windows is a custom tag that you created so this could be anything this could be xyz any 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 string that you want okay i'm just using windows as my tag so i'm saying okay tag this test as windows and tag these test as mac okay so now they are having these categories so these two belong to mac category versus these two belong to windows category now i can tell py test to run either of them and how do i do them 
do that so in order to do that we have to use minus m option so you will say py test minus m mac when i did that it ran only mac test isn't that wonderful okay how about windows so you can say windows and it will run only windows test okay you can see that the two tests that it ran were windows and the other two tests were deselected now you can also do reverse and let's say i'm saying run windows test but i want to run all the tests other than windows okay so except those tests which are which are marked as windows run all of those tests so a if you want to do it it's pretty simple you will say not windows in a double quote so you can see it ran only mac test okay so that was all about skipping and selectively running your test in py test tutorial thank you for watching